Hello, my name is Elin Stanglan and I am employed at the University of Oslo Library in Norway. I have made this video presentation in preparation for the upcoming EUA CDE webinar on fair data management and research data in doctoral education that is taking place on the 22nd of January. To introduce me briefly, I am a senior advisor and team leader for, data for the data management team in our digital services department. I currently spend a lot of my time on research data management, primarily through my role as project manager for the skills development for research data project at the University of Oslo. I've pulled together some details about the University of Oslo before I start. It was established in 1811 and is the oldest university in Norway. It consists of eight faculties covering a wide range of academic disciplines, and we also have two museums. UU currently has 27,000 students and there are 3,000 PhD candidates, 3,800 academic members of staff and 1,100 support members of staff to support these guys. UU is by Norwegian standards a big institution and was until recently the largest university in Norway. The size and complexity of the organization has been important for us to keep in mind when designing projects and building capacity within the institution to ensure that UU staff and students are conducting research in line with current good practices for data management. With that, I'll move, to, move on to talk about the topics of the upcoming webinar. I thought I'd start with talking about data management planning first. At UU, we consider a data management plan or DMP to be a document that describes how research data is to be managed both during a research project and after it has been completed. Personally, I think that data management plans will become an important tool for young researchers in the future. And as they, to a certain degree, are still establishing good research habits, it might be easier for them to make having a data management plan a habit and reap the benefits of that compared to more established researchers who perhaps have standardized their research practices more. And I have my reasons for thinking that all researchers, not just the young ones, will benefit from having a data management plan. For the individual, increased in efficiency in one's own research is really the main thing. By planning, it is possible to work more efficiently and deliver accordingly. Research project planning should also get easier, and I think that data management planning and project design and planning should be very closely linked. Um, for example, by planning ahead, it should be possible to identify resource requirements in a timely fashion. To illustrate this, we have several examples from our IT department of them receiving requests from researchers having been awarded funding, but to then find that they have forgotten to budget for data storage. As the university has improved the storage service provision in recent years, this is less of a problem these days, but with a data management plan, these situations could, in my opinion, easily have been avoided. Also, it should be easier to identify time dependencies or potential problems. If you are reusing personal data or health data, for example, there may be permission processes to be completed to gain access, and this might take time. Planning might help. Having a plan should also make it easier to keep track of data throughout and after the project, as what you intend to do when is documented. I'll talk more about fair data in a moment, but making the data fair does at least currently involve extra work for researchers in many disciplines. If planned for ahead, the process should become easier. And as the researcher then avoids having to go back to a data set and spend extra time on making it fair, time will be saved. And finally, I also in my slide talk about um, research assessment and also opportunities for further careers. I think if a young researcher consistently plan well and are able to share or make her data fair, that will help. So to conclude, planning is essential for all researchers and there are so many benefits to reap. However, we do have a way to go. The library and the research administration did some mapping exercises in 2018 and 2019 about competences and skills for research data management and data management planning. 
and we found needs for improvements on both. Although I should be clear that there are great variations here between researchers and disciplines. We were also able to collect important feedback from our academic communities on how we should work with data management plans. I thought the feedback we received might be of interest, so we'll share it with you here. The main concern our communities have is that the DMP are yet another bureaucratic time consuming task and yet another point of control, taking time away from the research. Also, they worried that the DMP duplicates other required processes. For example, ethics approval processes for medical research or data privacy assessments for our researchers working on personal data. And these are mandatory in Norway. In some communities who often are skeptical to data sharing, there are concerns that introducing DMPs are a way of forcing them to share data. We have also been urged to keep the EU approach very simple um, in order to make um, it more um, easier for our researchers to adopt these processes. And they also emphasize that if they really are going to do this, that good support services are crucial. And the last bit is quite heartening for us in the library as we are building support capacity on this. And I'll come back to that. So we did the survey work and we got lots of feedback. Then the question is, how are we moving forward with data management planning at UU? I would first like to emphasize that at UU, we try to focus on the data management plan as being an important tool, planning tool for the researcher herself. Although obviously we take funder requirements very seriously. We do have a data management policy that states very clearly that researchers employed by UU, and this includes PhD candidates as well, they should have a data management plan. However, as DMPs for our communities are still a fairly new concept, our management have been very clear that they don't want any policing on this being done currently, um, although that might change in the future. Because of the feedback and the management approach, our colleagues in the research administration decided that we need to keep it simple. And they therefore created a simple DMP template in order for people to get started and to establish the habits I talked about. And then they can become more advanced in the longer term. It is, however, flexible which template you use as an UU researcher. It is fine to use a discipline specific template like the Elixir one, or the Norwegian Center of Research Data has a good template for people who are working on people or researching people. And of course, if there are funder templates like in the EU, then that should be used. The EU template will also be implemented in an online version. Alongside that, my, me and my colleagues in the library have, as part of the skills development project for research data, established a training module in data management planning, which we have run quite a few times now. Amongst them, we ran a series for young researchers at the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences. These have been well received, although we have, although we are getting feedback that people want even more hands-on training courses on DMPs. So we're considering alternatives for achieving that. For example, uh, through setting up a shut up and write session for DMPs. At the library, we are also in the process of establishing a digital scholarship center. One of the first services to be provided is one on one research data management guidance and support, and it will be possible to book sessions on how to write a DMP. Young researchers are one of the primary target user groups for the center, so we hope this service will be well received. I thought next that I'd move on to think more broadly about data management and FAIR. And um, I referred to the EU policy for research data management earlier. And this does also state that research data handled at the University of Oslo should be well managed and they should be FAIR. That being said, working with FAIR data can be demanding. Other presenters are going into detail on, on that, I believe. So I won't touch upon that here. Um, there are, however, a few obstacles, at least seen from my point of view. I'll work through some of those here. I already mentioned that competencies and skill levels need to improve. Working in a way that enables data to be fair requires at least currently quite good digital skills, and it requires a fair amount of technical insight to be able to make one's own data fair. And I, however, I should qualify this by saying that it varies a lot from 
research communities and disciplines. And here we see a particular challenge for young researchers, which became apparent through the survey work I've mentioned before. When we spoke to young researchers, we discovered that there in some areas are a generation gap between PhD candidates and their supervisors, in that the young researchers need to use new tools and technologies in order to stay innovative and relevant. And these the supervisors never had to use and therefore never learned. In smaller research groups, this becomes a problem as the PhD candidate herself have to figure out how to acquire the skills needed and understand what tools to use. Another challenge currently is that the infrastructure to support making data fair aren't quite in place for many disciplines. Although I'm aware that many communities are working hard on this um, and we will also or are in the process of starting some initiatives. Making data fair in an efficient manner will also require changes in research practices and methods for many disciplines. In some fields, this change has already taken place, although in many others, it has not. And if you then also consider that not all researchers are equally motivated to move forward with this, because this does involve a cultural change as well, then it is clear that we have a way to go before all data can be made fair. And that brings us to the activities that we are conducting at the University of Oslo to ensure good data management. And over time, I hope that data become fair also from us. As attaining that both young researchers and other staff at EU will have access to training infrastructure and the right level of support they need for managing their data efficiently is an area of priority for EU. A number of initiatives have already been started and more are to come. To address the research data management skills challenges the EU skills development project for research data management was established in late 2017. The work follows up recommendations from a mapping project conducted in 2015 which identified the need to improve research data management skills. The primary aim for the project is therefore to improve competence levels for data management amongst EU staff and students. The project is targeting pretty much everyone involved in research within the institution, including research support staff, that is research administrators, librarians, and also to some extent local IT. And the reasoning behind training these groups is that for many researchers, and perhaps in particular for the young ones, it is the local support staff that is the first port of call when help is needed. <clears throat> Training these groups are therefore, in my opinion, hugely important in an organization of our size. And although the library are building capacity to provide more support, the entire organization needs to pull together in order to provide the level of support we expect to, be, to see needed in the longer term, or at least in a transition phase until working with fair data stops being that. But again, it's just research. We started by developing a series of general courses for researchers and research support staff. These are one-off courses that, we, that are quite basic and will likely end when the project ends by the end of this year. We have throughout the project also delivered PhD and master courses in data management upon request. And I'll talk more about training initiatives um, in, the, in the education in a little while. When COVID came in March, I must confess, we had to adapt quite a bit and deliver training where possible. Um, for example, we had to delay activity for the medical faculty and are kicking off work there now. Um, we also hope in 2021, the final year of the project, to develop some e-learning modules to sit alongside an existing training module on data protection and privacy. The training will, after the project, be taken forward in two directions. We aim to embed research data management training in courses to PhD and master students. And we have already started work on this. Um, and another example from UU would be from the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences again. Um, colleagues from the Science Library were already involved in providing training in the Science, Ethics and Society course that all PhD candidates there are required to take and they have now included um, data management aspects to be covered there. Because the um, number of hours we are able to get access to, um, to use for training in credited courses are quite limited. We also alongside that course and in collaboration with the faculty studies section provide training that does not give credits, but the, that the candidates are encouraged 
by their faculty to attend. And this is a general approach that we take, that is to collaborate with our academic librarian colleagues who are trained within the disciplines. They will over time then be able to tailor their courses more towards the specific disciplines and embed them as yet another course that the librarian delivers to her disciplinary community. <clears throat> Alongside the PhD and master training initiatives, we will also provide a separate portfolio of courses through the library's new digital scholarship center that I mentioned. Here we can provide general introductory courses, but also more tailored ones like the DMP writing course I also mentioned earlier. Other ideas for data management courses we are thinking of are for example, setting up a training session targeting specific calls for funding applications from the Research Council of Norway. We're also thinking about running a how-to course on reproducibility. The center has quite a broad remit in that it shall provide support and training for researchers to improve digital research skills. And the idea is to also function as a facility for other expert communities within the institution to deliver training and potentially guidance here. Currently, one initiative that is already transferred to the center is the software and data carpentry training, which the library has been facilitating and running for some years now in collaboration with colleagues from the academic community. These courses will, alongside the data management training and guidance services I mentioned before, form the core services for the center in the initial stages. And last but not least, although I do not have a lot to tell about this as of yet, yet, our colleagues from the University Center for Information Technology is about to kick off a project with support from us in the library and the research administration, looking at how to help researchers create or capture metadata and make these fair. More information will come on that in the longer time term, so watch this space. And with that, I'd like to say thank you for inviting me to speak. And I look forward to continuing discussions on the 22nd of January. Thanks.